guys welcome back to my channel so we ended off the last time on office now we have Okay, so off to college. We have dorm, empty nest, graduation, study, television, poor. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Mini fridge. <laughs> so let's see. And actually, congratulations to all of the 2020 graduates whether you graduated from college or high school or junior high I know it's a tough year for all the graduates everyone wanted to celebrate my brother actually graduated from high school this year as well But, um, needless to say, his graduation, his, um, senior trip and stuff was cancelled. So that sucks, but he'll be okay. I don't really think he cared that much for all of that stuff anyway, to be honest. Um, graduation. Backpack. Backpack. Graduation. mini fridge it's hilarious Three more left. Television. Mm, I'm already done with this one.
Okay, fancy rides. Hope you guys don't hear too much noise. Sometimes I think that you can hear certain sounds from outside and then I go back and you can't really hear it. Also, hold on, my light is like blinking. Yeah, so sometimes I think you guys can hear stuff. But it is absolutely insane outside like it's just non-stop noise and technically we're off quarantine um it's really nice the weather's been nice you know people could not wait to start going outside and gathering in groups and stuff So it's been noisy. And to top it off, it's uh, 4th of July in a few weeks. I don't know about where everyone else lives, but New York people start the fireworks in um, May ending of May, June. So every night there's fireworks. I feel like it's more this year. I feel like I feel like every night I'm hearing fireworks. don't hear any fireworks so it's been a little tough to film He's bent. Me back. Lotus. I've never heard of a Lotus car. I really don't, honestly, I don't know anything about cars. I am definitely a true New Yorker and I rely on tra public transportation or Ubers, mainly Ubers. And um, yeah, I know absolutely nothing about cars. However, this year, by the end of the year, I say, I actually wanna buy a car. But, um, you really don't need a car in New York. It's in New York. It's not a necessity. It's a, you know, it's a want. It's a luxury. We have very convenient public transportation, and um, we 
have Uber, Lyft, and New York City cab, so you always have an option. Or you can even rent. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely aiming to buy a car this year. Possibly a Christmas gift to myself. But hopefully um, I get it sooner than that. Still can't find Lotus. Oh, here we go. I will have to look that up. I have heard of every other car that's on here. Another thing that's just been ridiculous too is the cars that, um, oh, when we were on quarantine, I noticed the difference with the amount of car noise, just cars driving down the street in general. You would barely hear any. And I think because of the th those three months, I've gotten so used to the quiet that now it seems like there's just a ridiculous amount of cars that pass by every single day just blasting music and I'm like, is, was it really like this before? or is it just because the weather's nicer and yeah, it can be a, a mixture of a, a bunch of things but it's just, it's been insane Or it could be, you know, people, people are free now, like, we're not on quarantine anymore. So it's time to party. And I don't blame them. I'm freaking mad. forward to getting all cute and going out somewhere. I was actually supposed to do something today with a couple of friends, but I kind of kind of didn't want to. <laughs> I just had some stuff to take care of at home. So I did really want to go out, but I had just things I needed to take care of in the house and a couple of errands to run and um but it seems like nobody did anything so I you know um it's kind of the thing where like if your friends are not like hey what time are we doing this are we doing that then it's like okay I'm not gonna draw any attention to the situation <laughs> Because if they're not saying nothing, then they may they may not want to go out either. This is wild, wild westerns. So so I 
think I'll do something sometime this week. I honestly don't even know what's open anymore. I know some clothing stores. I've, I've seen some clothing stores pass by. And there's actually lines. <laughs> and I'm like, oh boy. It seems like I'm going to still be buying things online. Those are... I don't know if you guys can hear that. Ugh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so I'm going to be buying, continue to buy stuff online, I guess, for... Until at least things slow down or something. With, like, all the lines and just the busyness of outside. Blazing Saddles. What I don't get with the fireworks is what is it about the loud firecrackers that just make noise like the ones that just make big booms what is the appeal to those because those and then the loud firecracker sounding ones that just make a bunch of popping noises seems like those are the popular ones and then also the ones that are like sticks and you light it and it makes a sound and like flies up I don't really understand the uh, uh, appeal to those obviously the ones where oops obviously the ones where you um see colors and patterns, those are appealing, but all the other ones I just can't understand. And where do people get so many firecrackers from? <laughs> I feel like people just have like an endless supply for the whole month of June. Going into July, people just have like an endless amount of firecrackers. I don't know where do, where do people get all these firecrackers from. I honestly don't even know if it's legal in New York. Like, I don't think they... Oh, there they go. I don't think they sell them out here legally. I'm not even sure. To be honest, can't remember the last time I bought firecrackers. I know. So I have two more. No, I have three more. And then that's it. I'm gonna end the video because it seems like it's getting louder and you know the night time is a time I like to film but that's when the firecrackers get really loud <laughs>